Hi, dear students. You are welcome back to Adobe Dynamic Solution. I did video on uh, document production and database for 2023 May June paper 21. I will continue now with the presentation. Now, the, fir the first question says you are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Now, question 22: Create a presentation of six slides using the file J2321 Scratch. Now, all what we need to do is to open, because as you can see, this one is not in a presentation format. It's actually RTF. So you open your PowerPoint slide. After that, you click on Open, click on Browse, and you can look for the file. In my own case, I save the file. So, oh, I cannot find it. Okay, click on All File, then uh, Scratch. This is the file. Open it then the file opens now uh, unless otherwise instructed the slide must display a title and a bulleted list now use a master slide to display only the following features automated slide number on top of the on top uh, on the top right okay you click on view then you will see the mas uh, master slide or slide master here so we are going to use the first one okay and this is the page number you can just drag it here on top perhaps maybe you can uh, reduce the size of this one and you put it somewhere on top right as the question says then the second thing is your name center name and candidate number on the bottom left bottom left so you can remove this one as the question didn't say anything about it so just bring this footer to this one so you write your name to be then center number and candidate number just put it on the bottom left all right now but if you want this to to show what you need to do is to click on insert then you will see um, header and footer okay you see header and footer then you need to activate this slide number you activate the footer number so you will see the black here it means it's activated so click on all then everything will fully visible and show now the next question says a three to four point wide horizontal line about three centimeters from the bottom of the slide above your details and across the full width of the slide all right so this one you can click on shape click on insert and you click on shape and you bring a line to about three centimeters from the bottom three centimeters from the bottom then for the line you can click on shape outline then you use the black color the question didn't say anything about the color by the way so then you click here then wait then the question says three points right three to four points it's up to you instead that you use three points or four so these three points now this one is done make sure that master slide items appear in the same position on every page okay it's going to appear then no item overlap on any slide so if you don't want item to overlap definitely what we need to do is to reduce the size of this because it's overlapping like this with the line so we need to reduce the size of this so then in, in that regard another thing you can do is you see we are here you can click on review or is it view then you will see the ruler okay check on ruler then you will see that from here to here this is one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter this line can be somewhere here by the way in the three centimeter you get it so three centimeter from the bottom because the question clearly says from the bottom in that case you can expand this one a little bit down just make sure that there is no any overlap now after we finish this let, let me minimize this the next question says no item overlap then we can close our slide master close the slide master and this is how it looks like all right now question 24 say format the first slide where is the first slide so that a title slide layout is applied with no bullet title slide layout you click on layout this is the title slide you choose the title slide then the title slide the title and subtitle are center aligned and in the middle of the in the middle of the slide 
Yeah, these are center aligned by the way. If you look at it, it's center aligned. The subtitle is also center aligned. Use the data in the file j2321winners.csv to create a pie chart to compare the number of race wins by each group. Okay, so which means we need to j2321 winners. Um, I think I have it on download here. And um, this is the file. This one. Winners, where is it? Okay, this is the file. Open it. So the file is open already. But according to the question, the question, let me look at the question again. The question says uh, to create a pie chart to compare the number of race wins by each group. To compare the number of race wins by each group. So number of race wins by each group. Um, this one. Okay, analysis of race wins. Then we can highlight everything here, by the way, until here. Or you can even start highlighting from here. It doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, any of the two you choose. Then you click on insert. Then you see we are creating the pie chart. You choose the first one. Then it looks like this. All right. Oh, sorry. The year is there. I think the best practice. So let's say just to choose only the data. Don't choose the title. Okay. Then pie chart and yeah so it looks like this then the next question says format uh where is it okay this one label the chart with the title this one so copy then we label the cha chart with this title oh label the chart this all right then the next question says format the chart to display only group names and percentage as sector format the chart to display only group names and percentage as sector only group names so what we do is you can click here and you will see on the then you will see on the uh, okay chart tools then you can see different option here all right this one is only percentage it doesn't show why about this 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 or oh, this only the name uh, only the name percentage only uh, this is the percentage as well as the name this one shows percentage as well as the name then that's one option another one is you can use this option too all right the percentage percentage and name you can use this option too so there are many ways of doing things it's either you choose it from here or you choose it from this layout all right then the the next question says uh, format the chart format the chart to display only group names and percentage as sector label so uh, this one has been done then position so position this label outside each chart sector so what we do is you click here click put it outside um, this one put it outside as well so okay just click here then you can drag it out oh not like this so you can do it one by one by the way wow what happened this one click on this chart take it out this one take it out as well this take it out a little bit the question didn't tell you to what extent you should take it out so it doesn't matter how much you split them so position this label outside each chart sector now uh, display the percentage value to one decimal place so percentage value to one decimal place. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think something wrong here. So this is not correct. The question says we should position the label, so not the chart itself. So there are a few ways of doing this. I think well, uh, one of the things I showed you earlier was 
to use this option so this one we actually position the chart outside for you and okay this one it's positioned the so the label outside the chart for you now display the percentage values to one decimal place percentage value to one decimal place so we can use any of this option too okay place this one outside um okay no worries about that <laughs> i think for some reason let us change this one to to black so then in that case it's much more easier if you want to put them outside put it outside like this then click on this put it outside too and this one put it outside so it is fully visible now because they are outside all right now then this one says display the percentage value to one decimal place so for this one now um, to do the percentage according to the question what we need to do here is right click then you click on format data level then after that you will see uh, value is there okay scroll down then under is it category then you can see percentage you see percentage then how many decimal place one decimal place okay according to the question is one decimal place that's all Th this is how to uh, this what we do here then after that uh, we can close this one then after that do not display legend we don't have any legend here no legend now emphasize the group with the largest percentage by pulling out so this sector away from other group okay this is what i was trying to do earlier so the question answer the larger percentage we can pull it out only this like this i think this one let's take it like this but we don't have any overlapping the larger percentage we take it out we pull it out now the next question says place the chart to the right of the bullet on the slide with the title scratch group cyclist so let's copy this then let's go back to our powerpoint um, where's that slide this is it this this and this okay the, this is the slide the question said to the right all right so where is the right side so we can reduce the size of this one then you co you paste copy paste the slide here so just copy the slide and you put it here you can make it a little bit bigger all right now uh, make sure that no words are split no words are split so which means you can expand this one so reduce the size of this then you can expand this one to some extent all right then all data and labels are fully visible everything are fully visible like this so fully visible or maybe you can even reduce or oh. okay this one is okay like this then the chart and its content do not overlap any slide items so nothing like overlapping or whatsoever everything is fully visible now add the following text so as presenter or speaker note to the slide with the title scratch group cyclist so we need to copy this one then we put it as a presenter note this one is the presenter note can you see here presenter note click here so then you put it here as a present presenter note print this slide as a presenter or speaker note in portrait orientation so what we do here is control p right control p then it's going to ask you what do you want to print entire slide no just only the current slide we want to print only this slide so you are printing only one slide 
then the equation says print as a presenter in a portrait. If it is a port, this one is a landscape. Um, okay, notes, notes, okay. Then in that case, we need to choose this option, notes page. Why? Because we need to show the note that is show. We choose this option. All right, don't forget. Now, the next question says, on the slide, so you just print. Then on the slide with the title and the caps, format the text, race director. So where is that slide? Let's go back. Okay, this slide. Then format the text, race director. Where is the text? Race director, okay. This is the text. What do we need to do to this text so that when clicked, it's open an email editor ready to send a message to this with the subject race and the cap. So we can write, we can copy this, then highlight this one, then you can right click, then you click on um, link. We have an option here. Uh, okay, let me do it again link is here click on link so it's ready to send an email to this then what is the title the title is race handicaps or the subject the subject is race handicap that's all then is that what you need to do place in evidence document a screenshot showing the link text email address and subject all right so you can just print screen like this, then come to your Microsoft. Then you put the evidence here as usual. Uh, it was it? Click here. Then you can crop. Only this part is needed. Make it a little bit bigger so that the examiner can see clearly. Now, the next question says, press OK for this one. This one is done. Now, the next question then says, uh, save the presentation. After we've saved the presentation, then print the full presentation as handouts in portrait orientation with two slides to the page, each filling half the page. You print it as handouts, so Control P, then the whole presentation right we want to print all slide then you are printing as what uh, you are printing two slide at a page two slide at a page then you just click on print then it will print everything for you now that's in tmax then the last part of the question is printing the evidence document. You save your evidence document and you print it. So that's that about this paper 20, uh, uh, 223, so paper 21, May, June. I'm going to make another video on May, June 2023, paper 22. So then at the same time as well, so don't forget to come to my website courses. Um, edube.com so I have some uh, online courses for you so some of them are free and some of them <laughs> you need to subscribe you can support your teacher like this as well so I have uh, uh, ICT practical is there so then business studies chemistry then um, we have physics biology and all our instructors are also here so we use the interactive content to make um, all these lessons for you. You can always visit this website so to purchase some of my online courses. So thank you for watching. See you in next video. Bye.